experimental hive number five. Let's have a peek inside and see what's going on. Stick around. <laughs> Well, all right, guys, welcome back. Um, August 12th today, and I have decided to call it quits on the experiment with these side stacking hives. I've already done hive six on the other side and right behind the camera, hive four. It's like a two minute job to move these back onto a standard setup. Um, two or three videos back, hive uh, setup three was very, very similar to six. The boxes were side by side, and the beads had to go down and across and up. And, uh, number three, the population actually got fairly strong. They weren't doing it. Um, that's not a huge surprise to me. But anyway, I pulled the pin on that. Six, I, they never really even got a chance to get built up that strong because I'd taken a nuke or two out of there. Four and five, um, they were actually starting. Um, <laughs> by that, I mean, I, I saw 20 bees up there several times in the middle of the afternoon. But they were by no, no means uh, working doing anything serious up there. But neither of them really had a big population. This one should have a reasonable population. We're just gonna go and do a real quick brood inspection and then I'm gonna set it up. Um, yeah, and then we'll talk a little wee bit more about it. Not a big whoop here. Um, I've actually been in this one maybe maybe three times. I've been in the other one, uh, probably similar. Uh, this one's slightly different than four. It has that little extra gap there so that the, there's one frame hidden under there, but it leaves the space between the brood nest and what would be the honey supers. It leaves that space a little bit bigger, allows for more heat, queen pheromone, uh, whatnot going up in there. Um, I'm pretty confident that four and five will work. I've already dreamed up two fairly major modifications. So woodworking videos possibly, guys. Uh, have the smoker going. Uh, I haven't given them any smoke yet. We'll see, we'll see. There's a pollen supplement here. I was in here yesterday. I actually had a, a, a lady beekeeper from not too far away was here and I was showing her this. Uh, she has some issues lifting honey supers. So she's pretty keen to see if this works, if this works. But anyway, I was in here yesterday showing her what's going on in here. Um, few bees there. Got that close-up camera going. You can see they pretty well got these frames covered and actually they've taken maybe a, I didn't put a full, I didn't put a full thing of pollen supplement in here. I had cut some in half, um, but they've eaten in that a couple of inches. I think that camera, yeah that camera should see if I get out of the sunlight maybe. They pulled that back quite a bit and they're working on it right now. So that's kind of cool. Um, Huh, what do I really want to do here? I really don't need to do brood inspection, but whatever. I am going to give them a little smoke. It's pretty early morning. I think it's about uh, uh, probably 10, 30, 11 o'clock. It was chilly here last night. Got down to 8 degrees. Uh, I mentioned this in the last video. Summer is coming to an end here. I'm just going to give them a little wee bit across the top just to push them down. Don't give them too much. Just to get them off that pollen sub. Just get them down off the top bars. That's all I want to do. Um, yeah, I tend to, I tend to get caught every year. Middle of the day, the temperatures are gorgeous, blue sky. Oh, the weather's gorgeous. It's going to keep on going. You get up in the morning. There's heavy dew on everything. There's mist, fog, whatever. Cold. It was cold last night. Um, it's going to sneak up and it'll be gone. And I want to get these colonies back into their winter configuration to give them time if they want to adjust where stuff is and just kind of get themselves sorted out and ready for winter. I want to give them time to do that. I, I don't want to do this in September and then we get frost and then snow. <laughs> it happens. So yeah, I work too slow maybe sometimes guys. They've already come back up, but yeah, they're, they've eaten quite a bit of, hopefully that's in that camera. They've eaten quite a bit of that. I'm just going to pull a few frames, have a look at the brood, see what she's doing. Um, so this would have been, uh, I would have made this up with two frames. Uh, I don't know the date. I'll, have, I'll put the date down below when I actually made this. I'll look in my book and figure it out. Um, back side of this frame is actually empty. Here they got some cap stuff and actually they are putting some, some nectar into that. 
So they they've got honey out here a little ways. See, they weren't running out of room, so they're not going to go up into that upper box. Another another two or three weeks, I bet you they would. But like I said, I just don't want to take a chance. This one's heavy, so this one's got some. Again, some of these frames I put in here. A um, lot of nectar there, actually, and cap stuff, cap stuff across the top, and that whole. Well, not completely full, maybe a third. It's more cap stuff here. I'm just going to cover those two frames up before those little those little yellow guys give me grief. Hornets, wasps. This is cap brood emerging. Oh, and there's larvae in here too. There's some some larvae down through there. This is all this is all emerging, but I don't I don't see eggs, so she hasn't come back to this yet. And there's nectar in the bottom corners. This one's the same. This one's the same. And there's a hornet right there. It's funny to watch. Oh, I got you, you little bugger. I'm not going to grab it, though. Um, it's funny to watch. The bees are going after that one right now. They sure don't like those things. What was I saying? Oh, emerging, emerging brood through here. And there's some larvae on the outside. Um... The sun's over my shoulder. It's kind of sweet. I've been noticing that um, having these things flying east and west, depending on the time of day. Um, these ones flying west, it's great. In the morning, I get the sun right over my shoulder. So I got to kind of maybe pick the time of day, time of day, to come and work these maybe. Cleaning those sidebars, guys. I like a nice, clean, neat hive. Makes the overall beekeeping experience a little nicer. But this ain't a how-to video. <laughs> it's just what I do. This is this is older brood as well, starting to emerge. Probably going to find one here. Oh, there's larvae in here too. Ah, but I haven't seen eggs yet. Do 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 do. Another full frame of brood. The whole thing. The whole thing's capped. Uh, darker stuff. This will be. This will be emerging shortly. So yeah, the population of this is about to take a big jump. But I just feel it might be just a little bit too late. A lot of young bees here, so they're emerging from somewhere. The young ones are dusty, dusty gray color, and they look fuzzy. There's an awful lot of those on this frame. I know, someday I'm going to buy a really, really good camera, but there's a very young bee right there. Dusty gray. This is all eggs and young larvae. I see a lot of bee milk down in the bottom. Yeah. This side as well. Um, yeah. It's all eggs down through there. But this whole center section. I see lots of bee milk. Lots of eggs and larvae. Queen could easily, you find the frame that's got the eggs on, lots of eggs. Look around. That's usually where mother's hiding. I sure do like having the sun over my shoulder. Bees are pretty calm. Another good indication you have no queen issue. Bees are covering that sidebar, so I put the tool and I just push the tool down to uh, slowly to get the bees out of my way. So okay, at this point, I've seen eggs and larvae. I could pull the pin, close this up, and get on with the job that I got to do. But we're gonna go find a queen just for the fun of it, hey? Eh? Or try? <laughs> I say that we won't find her. This is emerging. But she's got this also laid up. They got a queen cup there. Let's just have a peek at that queen. Queen cups, you see them all the time. You don't panic unless there's a larvae in it. 
So I am going to, and even then you don't panic. <laughs> Ain't gonna do you any good. I'm just gonna blow on the bees right there, where, right there where my thumb is, there's a cup. And I wanna have a good look and it is, putting the sunlight down there, it is empty. And there's one on the bottom, it's also empty. They always seem to have them. Another frame of cat brood. Larva, she laid this up. She laid this up a little while ago. Different age larvae. That sometimes could be considered a problem, I suppose. Um, I don't tend to worry about it too much. With the brand new queen, um, the books will always tell you that, you, you know, you want to see the whole thing all the same age. If you're seeing brood and different age larvae, there could be some, could be some health issues there. And they've detected a problem in that cell and pulled it out and she's had to come back. Uh, but then you read other books and they say, well, maybe you've got hygienic bees and they're pulling out um, larvae that are infected with varroa. And therefore, you've got different ages. So, depends what book you want to read, I guess. Um, I seem to find lots, just had a couple bounce off my hand. They did not sting me, but a couple just bounced up and they bounced off my hand. So, telling me to get the hell out of here, but I'm not going to. I'll just give them a little wee bit more smoke. Could be a couple of those little hornets getting in here. And of course that gets them upset. And I've said this before, they know who's at fault. I'm going to look at one more frame here. And then we'll leave them alone. This is another light frame. All very, very young larvae. This queen is still laying. It is starting to cool off, but she has not quit. Early for her to quit. But, uh, I'm pretty sure I got a marked queen in here. This side too, this whole frame. Um, like, uh, some bigger larvae. Lots of young bees, pretty chill. Days like this are nice, guys. It's quiet, neighbors aren't making noise. Days like this, I tend to get out here. Ah, one more, I, do, I would like this here. Um, my wife quite often will have to come and get me mid-afternoon. Spend too much time out here. Get dehydrated. Just start having fun. This is heavier, so this has got some. Oh, there and there she. Oh, she's not marked either. I didn't mark this one. Well, maybe I should. She's right there, guys. Big caramel ones. Probably why I didn't mark her. I usually don't have too much trouble with the caramel ones. You know what though? I am gonna catch her and mark her. I wasn't at first this at the beginning of this season. But, uh, yeah, I have been. And I always test it, make sure it's working fine. Set it in the shade. And there she is. So let's just carefully lay this down. Try not to squish anybody. She's a big fat queen right now, boy. I'm going to wait till she's kind of walking away from me a little bit. I don't want her to go over. She's just taking her time. Do, do, do. I'm just walking. Biggest thing I find when you're going to mark a queen is don't be in a hurry. Keep an eye on her. Watch where she's going. Okay, she's turning. She's sticking her head. She's looking for a place to lay. She's sticking her head in the cells. Someday Santa Claus is going to bring me a really, really good camera that I could get a nice close up here, but until that happens. Yeah, take my word for it, guys. <laughs> she's facing, she's facing my right hand and I'm right handed. I could turn way around. Oh, I got a couple stirred up there. Move your hands too fast. And you get a couple bees coming up to see what the hell you're doing. I think she's getting a drink of honey. Got her head in a hole, but her abdomen's not. Maybe she's trying to hide on me. 
Well, okay, girl. I guess if you want to play like that. Just pick her up by her wings. Put her there. Make sure her wings are flat. Make sure I don't catch her antennas or anything. Dry the paint a bit. I always like to let her run around on my hand just for a little wee bit. Oops, she's trying to fly. She's back on the frame. Right there. Okay, sweetie pie, back you go. Oh, oh, be careful when she's at the edge. Where'd she go? Did she run around the other side? Yes, she did. She was right on the sidebar. I certainly don't want to be putting the frame back in when she's there. Now she's between the this frame and the other, the next one, so I'm going to be very gentle. And you know, when I'm moving the frames back, there's always bees on the sidebar, so you kind of just squeeze them a bit and then pull it away and squeeze them a little bit, and then uh, they get out of the way. Just don't shove everything together. Take your time. In and out a few times. Same thing with this burr comb at the top. You have bees in the way. So you put it in and out. Don't be in a hurry. Okay. Now put these frames back. set this on here for the moment. A couple bees there, I don't want to squish. All right. So this little job of putting it back on a standard floor for winter, very easy. Get the sloped roof out of the way, get the other roof out of the way, inner uh, vent box side, uh, I'm going to use this inner cover, not that one. So I'm going to take it off. Um, so yeah, there's a bee. It's made its way up into there. Um, this hive and number four, one bee. <laughs> but but they are coming up. That's the key thing. But of course, they haven't done anything in here at all. Uh, this. Yeah, there's actually... There's five or six bees there. They they are coming up into here. And I do think, well, how many frames of uh, cap brood were there? That emerges, population's gonna be good. Um, here's one that's come up there. There's one right there. Oh, I should move that camera, eh? There's one. You know, there's, and I see a half a dozen down in there. But they're not, they're not overly working this. They are coming up a little wee bit, but, uh, yeah, this one is heavy. So population's about to explode and they've got, I don't know, 50 pounds of honey already. Um, I think we're gonna be just fine here. Take that away. Then take this spacer box off. Uh, yes, I can take this spacer box off. This one is a little wee bit different than four. Paint wasn't completely dry. <laughs> Or it was dry, but I guess it wasn't cure. This is stuck. Stuck good, actually. Do, 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 do. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to worry about that too much. That doesn't matter. What I will do is get my fancy chair out of the way. Um, I'm going to put this down here to put the, the brood box onto. I should be able to get that out from underneath there, I think. We'll see. Yeah. Um, and then, you can 
see I was treating this with the oxalic vapor, burnt my paint. That's one of the changes I'm going to make to this this winter. Um, I want to have a screen bottom like this floor. This floor, I take out my sticky board and I put the um, oxalic vapor tool through there uh, underneath the screen so I don't have to worry about cooking any of my poor little bees. And, uh, yeah. and then also when I treat with the oxalic vapor, I can check that, uh, check the sticky board to see. I'm just going to have a quick peek at the bottom, see if there's anything here that I need to worry about. And there is not that on there. Nice, nice, like that. Then we're going to take this half inner cover back off and I'm just going to lay it in the front for the moment. And then I'm going to take this, my little rain guard off and take this. I should give them some more pulling while I'm in here, but I'll, I'll be back. Put that on there, something like that. Those frames forward. <sighs> and then put that on there. And then ventilation box. Clean that all up. I get that box off. Clean that all up. Uh, I've got a big magic marker. I've been writing on all the pieces, which ones go with which. That's that. I'll give those bees a few minutes to uh, head back in the hive, then I'll take that away. Um, I think that's going to be it, guys. So, I, like I said, I did four. And number six, half an hour ago, um, two minutes when you're not shooting a video, it's done. Um, straightforward, easy. Definitely four and five are going back into, probably all of them are going to go back into use next year. Depending on what I have for surviving bees in the spring. We'll see about that. Uh, I do have some plans to change four and five. going to add the screen and I actually have an idea to make it uh, maybe a little bit easier to do the oxalic vapor with the honey supers on. I, I have an idea. Several cups of coffee went into it. I have an idea. Um, 16, which was the last video I just posted. If the weather's good, I'll bring you back and show you that. Um, this could be it, guys. Uh, maybe this winter some woodworking videos, but if not, I hope you guys have a good winter. Uh, could be it till next uh, you know, June or July. We'll see if the weather's good. Two weeks, I'll bring you back for that. Uh, I've got one here that's got a, a virgin queen. That's a potential video to do. Uh, other than that, guys, could be it for could be it for a little while. Um, definitely appreciate your time. You guys be good to your bees, and I'm sure it'll be good to you. Talk to you. Uh, not sure when, but I'll talk to you when we talk to you. Take care now. Bye bye.